Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this video tutorial, we're gonna be going through how to get your text to align to a path and also travel along the path. So um, it's a pretty simple technique, but it's kind of buried a little bit within the text uh, settings within After Effects. So let's just go ahead and jump right in where you'll see this It's a Bug's Life kind of just slugging along before it gets um, unfortunately crushed. Um, but basically this whole um, this whole piece where the, where the text is kind of bending, uh, let me just show you kind of um, what it looks like under the hood here when I make the path visible you can see here that there's a path and the path is actually moving if I press you on the keyboard to see my keyframes you can see this path is actually bending um, and when I move the path you can see that the text kind of follows along with that path so um, basically how you get to get it to do that is what we're going to be doing in this video I just created this crazy shape in Illustrator and um, I'm going to just drag it into After Effects. So I believe it's saved to my desktop and it is. I can just simply just drag this into After Effects and it will ask me nothing because it's only one layer. And now I'm just going to drag this in, put it above the white solid. So you can see there it's pretty small. But if I right click, I can convert to um, shape layers and then I can just go ahead and delete that after or that illustrator file. From here, I can now um, increase the width or make it a little bit um, easier to see. So now if I create a text layer, Mike is king or your text on a path. That might be a little bit better. Um, I can now create a mask on this layer. So I can go right click, mask, new mask. So it just created a mask on that layer. And then I can actually come into this, this weird shape and I can go contents group one path. I can copy that path. And on the text, if I hit M on the keyboard, it will pull up my mask. I can just paste that path now onto the text. So if you see here, the mask was attached and it's kind of attached in a weird spot. That's fine. We can always work with that later. I'm just going to make that um, weird shape invisible. And now again, I'm going to go into the text layer, path options and go to mask. So now it's on that weird path. Um, this is where kind of sizing your text and your shapes will come into play. So I'm probably going to decrease the size of my text, but then move the anchor point into the center of the comp or in center of the object and then scale it up by pressing S on the keyboard and then centering that into the composition. So now my text is on that path and as simple as that in this text path options, um, since you could set margins um, and keyframe this, it's really simple to um, set a keyframe by reverse that I set a keyframe there and then at four seconds put a keyframe there and you could see that simple as that my text is now following that now obviously that's really fast and maybe that's not exactly what you want maybe you want it to kind of stop right there so a keyframe delete that other one Maybe add some smoothing here. I'm going to be using my tool from mountmograph.com. It's not a free tool. It's not a free plugin, but it's really helpful. But maybe that's what you want to do. I mean, obviously that's not really exciting, but I mean, you can come up with all kinds of really cool things to do um, with this once you've um, figured something out. For example, this um, little bugs world. I just basically... Um, used a combination of position and mask keyframes to allow um, to allow me to just kind of morph where the text goes. So those are two ways that I think are pretty cool that you can get some cool effects. For example, on this one, you can make the transparency zero, but then make it 100 and that might be something that, that you're looking for or another 
kind of cool thing that you can do here. I'm just kind of spitballing ideas. I'm just gonna come into Illustrator and maybe um, delete that. And maybe I want to make like a tank. So maybe I just create this kind of what would appear to maybe be a tank. I'm just gonna save this as a tank track. Jump into After Effects. Grab my tank track, place it in here. Can drag it into my composition. Right click, create shape from vector layer, delete the illustrator file, and I'll put I am a tank, I am a tank, I am a tank. And I'll probably need much more of those, but um, again, right click, mask, new mask, open up that tank path, copy that path. M on the keyboard, paste the path. It moves it to some crazy area. Text, path options, mask. Now I can go ahead and delete my crazy um, layers. And maybe I reverse this and I add some more. I am a tank. And then, so I got my tank layer. I'm just gonna center up the anchor point here. And now let's say I created like a, I'm just gonna create this by hand. I hope this doesn't look horrible, which I'm sure it will. Remember I told you guys that I'm not an artist? This is what I meant. Okay, after copying some pictures I found online, uh, I created what what can only be described as a a crazy, horribly drawn tank. But um, so I'm just gonna parent this text to the body, the tank body. So I'm gonna move the tank body over and hit P on the keyboard, the position keyframe, move to the end of my composition, move it over. And now I just need to get the the rolliness to kind of the, the rolliness the tank tracks to kind of go with it. So I'm just going to create a first margin keyframe. Press K on the keyboard to bounce to the other keyframe, and I'm just going to add a bunch and kind of see where we go. Okay, so that's obviously the opposite direction we want to go. We actually want to go that way. So that actually looks pretty close. That was just a guesstimate. Okay. So I just, the way I solved it is basically I created two keyframes here. So when this eye is at this line, I just kept that eye at the line. And then basically all I can do here to make this real simple is just drag these keyframes over, hit Alt, select that first margin and go loop out and then continue. And that will actually continue that keyframe. So that actually is perfect now.
So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. Um, if you did, please be sure to give this video a like. I know that this was like totally crazy, outlandishly insane, but it is what it is. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.